Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my empties video. This video is all my skincare, hair care, all that kind of empties that I've used up in the past six months. My part one was on all makeup related stuff and I will keep the video up here so you can click that if you want to watch that after this video or before um, or I will also leave it in the uh, description bar below as well so you can click that at any time to watch my part one. So I'm just going to literally sort out my stuff my empties into categories so it's just going to be easy to talk about and stuff and it'll be quicker to go through um because there is quite a lot um and i'll be right back okay so i'm going to first start off no particular order i'm just going to do what comes to me first and these are my face washes that i've gone through this one is by simple and it's just a really gentle face wash to go for if you want something that's not too harsh chemically and stuff this is a really good um face wash to go for so is this balance me one um just waiting for it to focus it's not focusing but it's this balance me uh pure skin face wash which is 99 percent natural so it says it's sulfate free cleanser designed to purify and refresh and gently balance the skin without stripping it away from its uh, natural oils and things like that. So that's a really good one to go for. But one that I really enjoyed using and one that I have repurchased is by Neutrogena and it's the Visibly Clear Pore and Shine Daily Wash. And it just helps to just clean out the pores and everything, especially if you want to wear makeup and stuff. It's a really good one to go for. And the two scrubs or face polish type stuff that I've used up. I'm still using something else, um, but I've been advised because of my poor skin and the pigmentation and stuff that I've been getting on my skin to avoid the kind of harsher stuff. So I've kind of reduced the amount that I do use. But this one is a really, really good face, uh, face, <laughs> face polish um, and it's by Lancer and it's their uh, I don't know what it's called if it's got a particular name to it I'm not sure but it comes in a blue tube like this um, but it's a really really good face polish it just makes your skin feel so smooth after it's so good this other one that I really really like and I have already repurchased um, this is just a sample part um, it's by Suki and it's called it's the exfoliate foaming cleanser and this is like a lemon lemongrass it's got lemongrass extract and natural sugar in it oh it just reminds me of the east every time i smell it i love the smell of it and the reason why i really like this product in particular is when you first put it on it's quite grainy and gritty but because of the natural sugars it dissolves so then by the time you fully exfoliated your skin, it's still not rough and too harsh. It's dissolved into this soft, uh, silky sort of cleanser. And it just works so nicely and the skin feels amazing afterwards. It is quite expensive, but for what it does, I really liked it. So this is something that I would recommend. It's by Suki and it's the Exfoliate Foaming Cleanser. Definitely try that out. So one um, cleanser that I really, really enjoy using is by Elemis and it's the Balancing Lime Blossom Cleanser. I just need a couple of pumps, um, either smear it on your face and then use a, a damp like muslin cloth or something to take it away or put it on some cotton pads and just really massage your skin with it and it takes away all the impurities and makeup and everything. It's amazing and it's really, really gentle on the skin. You don't get the harsh burning sensation or anything like that with this. Um, I have used this so many times. This is like the third or fourth bottle that I've gone through um, and if I was to buy another cleanser, I've still got other ones that I'm trying out that was either sent to me or I've just bought because I like the sound of them. Um, but when I do finish them, if there's one that doesn't beat this at that point, I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. So moving on to toners, there's four that I've used up. Let's start with the smallest one. <laughs> um, this is by Cowshed, and this was sent in a subscription box. So I haven't actually uh, purchased it myself, but it's the, the chamomile um, scented one. It smells quite decent, it's quite fresh of chamomile, hence the name, um, and it's just a general good toner. It doesn't burn your skin or anything um, 
because I think the recent toners that I've tried do have that and I think that might be causing the issue to my skin but that aside um this toner isn't a bad one to go for I'm not sure how much it is um but if you wanted to try out a, a new toner or you've not used toners before I think this is a good one to try out so another one is by Now Bay not sure how you pronounce it n-a-o-b-a-y um but it's a natural and organic calming face toner <sighs> i don't know if i liked it i used it up clearly just because i wanted like i had it i wanted to use it up uh or to, also to see whether a good few weeks of using it actually made any difference i don't know if it's i don't think it's a bad toner but i think i've got other toners that work better one toner that i absolutely loved for a while and then it started causing issues with my skin um is this one by liz earl and it's their um instant boost skin tonic spritzer i use this so many times in the past and i had no issues with it i don't know if they've changed their formula or whether my skin is just changing because of all this stupid pigmentation and stuff that i'm getting on my face but I don't know what it is it just started kind of making my skin a bit more itchy I just found my skin was reacting to it more um, so I only used half of it until I started noticing that and then the rest of it my husband used up so yeah this is empty now but I don't think I'll purchase it because of that reason so one toner that I do really like is by Elemis and it's the lavender balancing lavender toner and I don't usually like the smell of um, lavender um, there's just something about it is just not me but this isn't too strong of a smell and this is supposed to go paired up with that other cleanser by Elemis um, that's why I have this one so um, yeah if I was to repurchase another toner this is definitely one that I would go for because it's not too harsh at all on my skin um, and yeah I think my skin can just take it really well so yeah definitely a must-have for me so moving on to facial oils i don't have that many because my skin generally is quite oily um so i don't tend to have it i did use up one though in the winter months um and as it was just getting a little bit cold some areas of my face was quite dry so i wasn't using this every day but the days where i felt that um my skin was quite dry i used this in the evening and this is the bottle i don't know if you can read it from there it's by monu um, and it's their Capri facial treatment oil and it's got grapeseed oil and citrus oils and so many other things but you literally just um, apply it on your skin um, and I just slept with it once I've applied it I left it a little bit so it sinks into my skin and then I just slept overnight with it and it did really work it was quite a nice um, facial oil so if you do have dry skin it is something that I would try out um, but as I said if you've got oily skin it's not something that you'd want to use every day so yeah I've just used this little itty bitty one up so then I'm moving on to like facial serums and concentrates and things like that two that i've used up is by body shop this is just the older packaging this is the new one um and this is the drops of youth um concentrate comes with a little uh still got a little bit in there uh it comes with a little uh dropper or a pipette um so it's just easy to pick out the product and i love it it's very i don't know if it gives my skin that youthful look I just don't know because I've been always using this but it does make my skin feel really good um, when you do apply it first it does feel quite tacky and I find this really good as a base for foundation as well because when it's quite tacky it's your primer you stick on that uh, foundation and it will last such a long time and it will go on really really nicely as well um, but I generally use moisturizer on top of this and when you put the moisturizer on top after it, it just feels so silky smooth on the face um, so yeah I've got two more already of these and I think I will continue to buy these unless there's other stuff that I find that I'm using in between um, that I prefer better but definitely I really really like these ones the other random um, face serums that I tried out only because I had samples or I was given them in like subscription boxes and stuff um, this one is by Kodali and I love it I'm not gonna lie I do really really like it um, it's their quenching serum is mainly for dehydrated skin though <laughs> as I said I do have oily skin but sometimes it does like some patches go quite dry and this worked amazingly well in it I didn't want it to because Cordali is not on the cheap side it is quite expensive um, but 
I think I'm going to leave it for now. I would, if I had the money, I would buy this, especially if you've got dry skin. This works really, really well. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it. But yeah, it's a good one to go for. This serum, I was also sent in a box. Uh, it's the Avant Age Defy Anti-Aging um, Radical Firmness Serum. Long name. Really good. I mainly applied that around here. And on my where I generally tend to get my lines and wrinkles I um, applied it there and I think it's too small of a sample that I had to try out I would definitely love to try out the bigger samples so it's something that I haven't purchased yet but it's definitely on my list of um, stuff to purchase like the bigger tube of it so I can get better use out of it so this one I also used up by Balance Me. I just don't know why my camera is just not focusing, but I hope you guys can see that. This one is for um, is Congested Skin Serum. Again, 99% natural. That's why I like Balance Me products. It's pretty um, good on your skin. Um, however, I wasn't that sure about this serum. Certain products uh, within this range are really good, but I wasn't too keen on it. I did use it up because I wanted to give it a go, um, but it's not something that I would repurchase. One serum that I did like though is by Number 7, and it's their Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. And um, yeah, I did quite like it. it kept my skin feeling good. Um, I mean, it didn't do anything bad, but it wasn't something really, really amazing on my skin either. Um, and it is more on the affordable start side compared to a lot of the higher end stuff. So yeah, if you're looking for a good serum to try out and um, is readily available, you don't need to wait for shipping or anything from anywhere, then check the number seven one out from Boots. I have used up four eye creams <laughs> in the past six months. Um, this one I was almost out of by the end, towards the end of last year when I did my empties videos, but it wasn't quite finished just then, so that's why I couldn't include it. I will link the videos down below if you wanted to see my last year's empties videos as well. Um, but this is by The Body Shop, and it's the organic um, smoothing eye cream. It comes a little in a little pump thing as well, and you do need the tiniest amount. And I just apply it along here in the crease area and just above my brows. Literally just follow it along the contour of my eyes. And um, it was okay. I don't think it did anything wow. It kind of looked a bit... When you put it on your skin or just get a little bit on your finger, it has like a little iridescent look to it. So I think it's there. It looks good for like brightening. So I used to use it in the mornings um, and I used this one from the body shop in the evenings. And this one is the Drops of Youth um, Eye Concentrate as well. And it comes with a little roller ball thing like this. So you just squeeze a little bit and then just run the roller ball across the, the same contours. And because of the ball, it gives it like a nice cooling effect as well. So I did quite like that. Um, I have repurchased more and I think so far I will continue to repurchase this because so far it works really good for me. It doesn't reduce, for me, it doesn't reduce the fine lines, but it gives it more of a, a firmness and a cooling effect, which is what I liked about it. I then had this Polar um, Icy Magic Eye Contour Energizer, <laughs> it's called. Um, this was sent in a subscription box. I didn't purchase it. Again, it comes with a, a roller thing on the end. Um, so again, I'll follow it along the contours. Sorry, that is from my other video that I did. The empties, uh, makeup empties, it's just not budging. So it's still there. The video, again, I'll link down below for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, this one, you literally just roll it on. It leaves like a white residue on my skin. So that's why I didn't like it. But it's nothing wow, but it's nothing bad either. So I personally wouldn't go out of my way to purchase it. But if I did receive one in, in one of the boxes again, I, I would happily use it again. And finally, this one by The Body Shop again. Apologies for it not focusing but this is the drops of light brightening eye cream now if you've watched a lot of my makeup videos i use like peach correctors under my eyes because i i don't like the the darkness under my eyes even though it's not like really really bad for me i don't like it so i thought maybe this brightening cream would work because i like the drops of youth serum or concentrate for the end of my eyes so i thought let me try this out but i didn't like it at all 
I used it up because I'd bought it and it's not cheap. Um, so I did use it up, but um, I it's something that it didn't brighten my eyes and it didn't give any sort of effect. I also bought their um, concentrate as well, the um, drops of light concentrate serum type stuff that they got. But that kind of made my skin quite itchy and irritated for some reason. Um, even though body shop products don't tend to do that for me, but that one did, so I stopped using that. This one didn't do it, but it didn't do anything wow either. But I, because I had it, I used it. Okay, so, uh, moisturizers. <laughs> I used up uh, the Balance Me Balancing Face Moisturizer. And this moisturizer was pretty good. Um, it's not wow, but it, it does the job. Um, and it's 99% um, natural, so they say. Um, so it is good for your skin and everything as well. So I wouldn't go out my way to purchase this, but again, if I received it, I wouldn't mind using it. This one I did really like. It's by NUX, um, that's how I pronounce it, N-U-X-E, um, and it's their Creme Fresh um, Hydrating or Moisturising Cream. I generally don't like the, the really thick hydrating creams, but I do like it when my skin does go dry. Because most of the time my skin is quite oily, I don't tend to stick with it as much, but this one, in the winter months, or like, yeah, January, December, January, February, it worked wonders for me, and I would personally, I wouldn't get it right now, because it is the summertime, or spring summertime, but um, I would get it when it comes closer to the winter again, if I feel that my skin is actually going quite dry again, this is something that I would really um, reach for, so I, I would get that. One that I've purchased again and again and again, and I think I will continue purchase again and again, is by The Body Shop, and it's their Drops of Youth um, Gel Cream. I kind of really like the smell of it. Um, as you can see, it's all used up. They come, it comes in a gel cream and a normal moisturising cream, but the gel cream I found wasn't as oily, um, greasy, kind of. So that's why I purchased this one. I will purchase it again. I've got one almost half done as well. Um, and yeah, as and when I get, use it up, I know I'll keep purchasing it unless I find one that I really, really enjoy over this. And finally, I've got the Benefit Total Moisture face Facial Cream. Um, I've only got a little jar of it. Obviously, I've used it up. Um, it wasn't anything wow, to be honest. I don't think I'd spend the money to buy it. I'd rather spend the money on that Body Shop one over this. It is, oh, sorry. It is more on the richer side. So if you've got very dry skin, it will work really really nicely for you and in that sense maybe yeah it's worth the splurge but for me I don't think because I needed that extra moisture at the time because I had other products that I was using anyway I didn't need it um, so I wouldn't repurchase it but if you've got dry skin then this is a really good one to try out. So skincare doesn't really mean just face it can mean the rest of the body too um, and hands for me get dry very quickly as well as being a makeup artist, I'm also a dental hygienist and a therapist. So for that reason, constantly washing your hands, constantly using the al uh, alcohol gel, things like that, really, really dries out my hands and I really hate it. But it's something that comes with the profession and you've got to deal with it, I guess. Um, so I have to continuously use hand creams. And two that I have actually enjoyed using, one is by Now Bay. I don't know if you can see that um, and this was the orange juice hand cream it smelled really really nice don't know if I can smell it yeah I can still smell it um, smells of oranges it was really nice it was very moisturizing nice big tube um, I have many many different hand creams to try out still so I personally wouldn't uh, repurchase it just yet but it is something that I would consider Dove you can't go wrong with I have got so many of these like different Dove hand creams because they work really, really well for me. Um, and I think I'll continue buying these ones as well because they're just so handy, readily available. Um, and yeah, they work, they moisturize my hands, so why not? Body cream wise, now there's so many I could go through. I could go on and on and on. So I haven't showed you literally everything that I use, but stuff that I've used that I thought, this is something different, this is something quite nice. I'm going to go through. Um, and this is by Rituals. I don't know if you can see. They have some scents which I don't like at all, but this one I loved. It's the Ritual of Sakura. 
um, and it's their Magic Touch Body Cream. And uh, what scent is it? It's Organic Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. Guys, this smells amazing. Oh, it's so refreshing. It's so, so good. And it's very moisturizing on the skin as well. This is something that I would definitely repurchase. But because it's, it's more on the expensive side for a standard body cream, um, I will probably just wait and use up what I've got first and then maybe consider it. But it's something, if I had the money, I would definitely get it. It smells so good and it works really, really nicely. So I thought I'd mention it because if you guys want to try out or you're a Rituals fan but haven't tried this one in particular, it's something that I would go for, definitely. Um, two kind of... Uh, liquid makeup removers that I've gone through. One is the Garnier Micellar Water. Um, something is, you can't go wrong with this. It's not nothing wow. I've used better things like this one. Um, is by Nivea and it's their double effect eye makeup remover but I've kind of used it first on my eyes and another pad um, for the rest of my face especially when wearing heavy heavy makeup. It works so good. It works really really well. It's got two layers. You just shake it up and you use it. It's got oil in it obviously with the two layers um, and I think that really helps to get rid of the makeup so this I would definitely repurchase this I bulk bought loads so I just need to use them up still but once I have finished them I will stick to the the Nivea one I think that works better okay so as we're talking about cleansing and whatever I'm gonna go through um, two shower gels or two body cleaning products that I thought were pretty good um, for what they are uh, one is this one by Ritual. I didn't like the smell of it, but I like the functioning of it. It's like a foam um, shower gel. So you just spray it on your little um, lo loafer or whatever you tend to use, and you just use it as a shower gel. But this smell wasn't too bad. This one is the fresh eucalyptus and rosemary scented one. But I think I have another one, like that cherry blossom one. I think it's that one or another scent. And that one's really nice. I'm currently using it, so I haven't finished it yet. Um, but I thought the concept of this was pretty good. And they're so travel friendly. Really light, even when it was full. Um, and no worry about it leaking anywhere. So that's why I thought I'd mention it if you wanted to try it out. Something that I was sent just recently in a subscription box is um, a vegan soap. It's the Bergamot and Poppy Seed Smoothing Body Exfoliating Bar. It it looked through the... I'm, obviously, I'm using it right now, so I haven't got it, but I kept the box. Um, it looks like the inside of a dragon fruit. You know, the white with the black dots everywhere. It looks exactly like that, and it smells so good. It smells so good, guys. It's something that I will definitely repurchase. Um, and when you are using it, like over your body the poppy seeds actually really exfoliate your skin so my skin still feels so so smooth um so yeah one soap that i would definitely buy like i bought loads from the body shop recently so i have to wait until i've used them up but this one um by dr botanicals um it's the vegan soap bar is something that i would definitely definitely repurchase Okay, so just quickly going through so like a um, couple of shampoos and hair care products and stuff like that. Um, this one um, by Mane and Tail and Body is <laughs> the um, shampoo for shiny, manageable hair. Um, it I got it in a subscription box with the conditioner and I thought, oh, what kind of stuff is this? But it works so good. My hair felt so soft. Like just putting my hand, my hair is very coarse guys, it's horrible, I hate my hair. But when I use this and the conditioner, it felt really, really good. So I'm definitely going to be getting the, the bigger, I'm going to, bigger bottles of these. I'm going to definitely repurchase this and I thought I'd mention it because it's not like a standard shampoo. I'd not seen this around until I saw it in the box and it's something that I would highly, highly recommend. Especially if you've got the coarse hair or if you dye your hair a lot. It tends to go quite dry. It worked really well for that. One thing that's not uncommon um, is this Batiste um, dry shampoo. But what I did like about it is the scent. <laughs> it works It works like the standard dry shampoos. But this scent is vanilla and passion flower. It smells so good. I definitely will get a bigger bottle of this. 
if they sell a big bottle of this uh, scent. So like I said, a lot of like shampoos and body stuff um, that I use, I'm not really showing you. Like I've gone through obviously a lot more than what I'm showing you when it comes to that. But I'm just showing you stuff that I've tried out that really did something for me. Um, one is this Don't, Re Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask by Briogeo. Let me show you. It's just so annoying, it's not focusing. But it comes in a tube like this. Um, I've ordered bigger bottles of this already. It comes in a normal round bottle. Um, and the shampoo and the conditioner um, for the curly hair I've ordered. And it works really good. It is on the expensive side, which is a downfall. But if you leave this mask in your hair for like at least 5-10 minutes if you can. And then rinse it out, your hair will feel so soft. Again, I was sent this in uh, in a box, <laughs> but I loved it so much, I ordered another bottle of this. It's uh, This one, uh, the mask, comes in a little tub um, form, but the shampoo and the conditioner comes in a normal round bottle type thing. So, yeah, definitely I love Briogeo brand as a whole, because it doesn't have all the other harsher chemicals and stuff in it, and it still leaves your hair looking clean, and it, it does what it says on the package. So, that's one thing to try out if you've got the money. Okay, not got long to go now. So moving on to supplements for the hair and body uh, and skin and stuff, um, I've tried out these hair vitamins. Now these are all over social media. Um, I bought the um, three month supply so you get what this, I'm still using up one along with a hairbrush and I really like these. These taste so good. Um, and my hair actually grew so well. Like, I don't think it went thicker, and I don't think I gained more hair as such, like, because my hair is very thin, but the length of it, it grew really, really, really fast. Like, when I went to my hairdresser with the same time gap that I normally leave, um, she even noticed it, how quickly it had grown. So it definitely works if you want to grow your hair, and it tastes amazing. So another supplement that I just recently, like a month ago, um, tried out is this Halo Beauty Booster, like hair, skin, and nails booster by Tati. And everyone was going on and on about it. I follow Tati a lot on YouTube, and her social media and Twitter, like I was looking at her before and after pictures that... Um, her viewers when they've tried this out what the difference that they felt and because of my skin and my pigmentation I thought I'd give it a go because why not right because um, it's mainly just vitamins so I tried out I've got two months supply I tried out one month and it's not really done anything I am really disappointed in that um, I was hoping for like I was hoping for a miracle I want these stupid pigmentation on my face to just go and I thought it would work but it didn't really do much for me. Um, I don't know if it's helped my nails grow faster. My hair, it does feel a little bit thicker. It's not grown like amazingly well. But I don't know whether it's those hair care, the hair bear thingy, sugar bear things, or whether it's this. So I'm gonna, once I've finished one or the other, I'm just gonna stay off of one, continue with one and just do that kind of cycle because I don't know what's working better. Definitely for skin, I don't notice much of a difference. Hair care wise, I'm noticing something, but as I said, I don't know whether it's this or whether it's the sugar bear. And finally guys, I'm on my last few products. And this is literally scents, body scents, perfumes. Um, three that I've used up in the past six months. This one is by Boss, and it's the, um, by Hugo Boss. It's the Boss Orange, for women obviously, and I love this smell so much. It's something that I would definitely repurchase, but I found a dupe for it for, in uh, Lidl. It smells very similar, it doesn't smell the same, um, but very, very similar to this, so I'm gonna use that one up first, um, and then wait for like, offers and stuff for this because this is so good. Another one that I would repurchase but not just yet because I have more musky smells is the Izzy Miyake perfume. Oh, it's very musky, very I think more wintry so yeah I'm gonna wait maybe for the winter months and use up the other musky scents that I've got before they go off um, and then maybe repurchase this. And finally uh, I have this Celine Dion um, Sensational Perfume. Got it from Superdrug because it was really cheap. Actually, my mum got it. <laughs> she got me a perfume. It's okay. 
I would say it's a more mummy smell, but I wore this just around the house. If there's no no special to go to, sometimes I wore it to work. Just random occasions sort of thing is good for that. Um, I have used it up, um, but I don't think I would repurchase it. I think, as, it, as I said, it's a more mummy smell. I think I associate it more with... <coughs> sorry, with my mum's generation people rather than my generation. But I guess each to their own, right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't repurchase it again. It's not a bad smell, but I just, it's not me. So that's it, guys. Thanks for putting up with me. These are all my empties that I've used up when it comes to hair care, skin care, etc. Um, in the past six months. I will probably do one at the end of the year now, and I'm hoping that there won't be as many and I could combine them in one video but I will still keep them separate just in case the piles like exceed um, but yeah like hope you guys like this video um, please do comment below if you do want me to do any other types of videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel please click the bell button as well next to it so you get notified when uh, my videos do go up but yeah for now I'm going to love you and leave you and I'll catch you in my next video